when will fully self-driving cars become mainstream, legal and technical hurdles? We are now almost halfway into 2021, and the question of when self-driven cars become accessible for the mainstream remains unanswered. The only advancement we have seen from any of the leading players in the self-driving vehicle field is about moderately automated vehicles becoming available. This comes as less hopeful news after the multiple predictions made by car industry experts on self-driven vehicles being available in 2021. However, keeping the recent pandemic in perspective, it makes sense that the widespread development and release of self-driving vehicles were put on the back burner. As the idea of self-driving cars has normalized in the mainstream, there are reservations about technologies that function without human intervention. This article specifically discusses legal and technical hurdles being faced by vehicle companies when trying to release self-driven cars. Data security. Many express that it is simply a gamble to think that vehicles do not record data on how, when, and where individuals drive. This is a potential privacy concern, as the information is available to a couple of companies that are handling several aspects of the self-driving vehicle. The fear of having a client's information stolen or improperly handled is a threat that companies are still trying to cater to. Complex social interactions. Driving is hardly just driving. When you're on the road, you're likely to meet and interact with many people maneuvering the traffic the same as you are. Thus, it involves intricate interactions with other drivers, cyclists, and pedestrians that people fear are just far too complex for robots to understand. Humans rely on generalized intelligence during such situations. However, robots lack that common sense. However, Google is still trying to train the vehicle's software to learn some interactions and recognize tricky situations. Legislation and regulations. Having self-driving vehicles available to the mainstream market means letting a can of worms loose on the world. There are few laws and regulatory bodies that are prepared to deal with fully self-driving cars. They are necessary before self-driving cars become common because there are many legal questions regarding liability, insurance, and who can ride in a self-driving car. For example, is it necessary for at least one passenger to have a driver's license if the car is fully self-driving? Who decides an algorithm is legal to drive and can this be revoked? It is imperative that the law supports the safety of the individual driving and shared interests of self-driving car manufacturers. There aren't standardized laws in the US federal safety regulations that talk about understanding the risks or potential safety features of self-driving cars. Sensors. Self-driving cars are fitted with several sensors to see and observe the environment around them to make decisions that are informed and objective. This helps detect objects in front of the car, like pedestrians, cyclists, speed bumps, or animals, etc. However, untoward situations like bad traffic, accidents, bad weather, or something out of the ordinary can potentially disturb the self-driving system and negatively impact the accuracy of their sensing capability. Much as entrepreneurs wish self-driving cars would become more common sooner rather than later, there are legal battles to be fought, technical difficulties that need to be dealt with, and important questions that need answering. The road to getting autonomous vehicles approved is a rocky one, and we will just have to wait and see when they will be fully accepted.